the most interesting bit about this game, gents, was a second half incident where Jose Mourinho not only showed is he still very quick witted, but he's got a great turn of pace chasing Eric <laughs> Dyer up the tunnel when he disappeared and Tottenham had to play with 10 men for a couple of minutes. What do you make of that, John? Well, supposedly he disappeared because he needed to have a toilet break, which was, uh, it's very unusual. You very rarely see it. But um, I was involved in a game when I was at Osasuna. We're playing Atletico Madrid at their stadium. And our defender, midway through the game, sprinted off to go to the toilet for a number two. And we, we turned around and we didn't know where he was. It was uh, sort of a shock. All we could hear were the South Americans losing it and going, just get him to shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> do and what you have to do. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was laughable after, but during the game, when you're under the pump, it is, it's not a funny um, situation to be in, that's for sure. Was yeah. it, wasn't it Max Crocom, uh, the uh, Brisbane Raw goalkeeper now, who... Uh, took a, a number one actually on the pitch or at the side of the pitch during his days uh, with Salford City. I think he got in a fair bit of trouble for that, <laughs> which he apologised <laughs> afterwards. But I, I guess um, the quote from Mourinho afterwards was was pretty prescient, wasn't it? He said he had to go and I knew he had to go. And when you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> well, D- Dyer said he, he wasn't very happy, but there was nothing I could do about it really. So <laughs> there you go. Enjoying our YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.